baby color this. All because of your poor upbringing, your terrible parenting skills. You pamper him, and you don't discipline him. And now he's a spoiled brat. He's always running online and doing nothing constructive. And now, ha ha ha, yes, we saw the begging. His ain't no qualification, no job, no income. Let's see how he's gonna survive in the US. You are a terrible mom. Yeah, I'm talking about MSE mom, a terrible mother. I've gathered information from my own research and as far as I engage, I have come to a conclusion that Amos' mom is really, really a very terrible mother. This is his mother. And let me tell you how she has brought up Amos E. Terribly. Your baby is starving and he's crying non-stop. For moments Amos was born, his mom started to starve him because the supply for her breast milk had not arrived. The doctors and nurses urged her to let the poor baby have some familiar milk. She, as a strong believer of breastfeeding, refused to give Amos any familiar milk. So the poor boy had to starve for 5 days. 5 solid days. A newborn baby without food for 5 days? Just terrible. Mother. Second. Remember to go to bed at 10, okay? Every child has a sleeping time given by the parents, but Amos doesn't. He goes to bed at any time he wants. He sleeps only when he feels sleepy. How can he pay attention in class? Wake up, wake up. On the next day, if he has not enough sleep, Amos' mom ain't bothered about how much sleep he needs. That's a terrible mom. He go study and do your homework. This is what most kids have been hearing from their parents. Amos' mom rarely asks him to study or do homework. She lets Amos do whatever he likes. For example, watching cartoons at South Park. Violence. And any shows on TV. Whatever. Read comics, magazines, playing video games like Legend of Zelda or even Day of Alive. And any kinds of books. Any kind of books? There's no need for Amos to study. What a terrible mom. So this time I was spying on and this is why I found out about this terrible mother. Number one, Amos had breast milk for 22 months, no formula milk, no ready pet baby food. Look at him now. Perfect eyesight, good hearing, good teeth, and most importantly, good immune system. Have your people noticed that he rarely feels sick? He could even starve himself for many many days in the Singapore prison and also in the Institute of Mental Health. See how fit and healthy he is now. Happy! And he was also a fighter previously. And that's the power of breastfeeding. Mother power. If any of you still think he's so excited, he's not. He's perfect eyesight. He's just wearing his glasses for fun. <laughs> Number two, Amos' mom doesn't impose any sleeping time on him, so he's able to focus on what he's doing and not be restricted by a certain time frame. His flow of thoughts is not severe at any point of time, and that's extremely important to a thinker, especially to a creative thinker like me. <laughs> that's the reason why his brain operates like a machine. It's a no wonder some Singapore parents are so jealous of him, cause their children only have good knowledge, hoping them to be paper. Generous grew up. Amos is not confined to learning only from textbooks. He's not bound by the MOE syllabus deep knowledge. He reads widely and is given all the time and freedom to explore on any topics he's curious about. That's how he gained all his knowledge from various sources and he seems to know very much more compared to his peers and even many mature adults, including his teachers. He has saved his mom a lot of money. Mary too is so smart like Amos, and like many parents who are so worried that they need their children to study and get children to be MOE dogs. Since very young, Amos knew about Da Vinci Code or even Lee Kuan Yew's history, not just reading from this kind of book, a brainwash book, but he also learned from internet forums and social media. However, many children in Singapore only know how to learn from their history books we set by MOE standard the causes of the blind following the blind. No wonder many Singaporeans are so <laughs> square. So, so that's how MOC has been brought up by this terrible mother, and that's why he become like this today. Like what? Like this? Like this? Like that? Like that? Like that? Or oh, even like this? <laughs> I mean, I don't know like what they are referring to. 
So here are the three points and it ain't easy for me to get them. Not to worry friends, I will spell more and I will share with you all. Just stay tuned for my next episode of MSE Mother, Mary Toe.